everyone, my name is Richie and welcome to my channel. As you can probably tell by my super nifty hairdo, I'm doing the 90s music book tag, which I'm so excited about. This was created by Penelope Spitz. I was tagged by Gwendolyn. I'll link both of their videos down below. I definitely recommend checking them out. And I'm so pumped for this video because 90s music, while I don't listen to it now, I was a kid in the 90s and I loved so many of these songs on this tag. So let's start. So our first song is Smells Like Teen Spirit. The question for this is which book featuring a young adult narrator is one of your all-time favorites? I'm picking Golden by Jesse Kirby, which is one of my all-time favorite books. This is about a young girl who is in high school in her senior year and realizes that she's always kind of done what she was supposed to, gone according to plan, never stepped a foot out of line, realizes that maybe in doing so she's missed some of the high school experience. And when she is given the opportunity to step a out of line, she decides to do so. She gets the journal of a girl who died a few years ago in their town. She ends up instead reading the journal and you follow the story of what happened to that girl and uh, uncover all these secrets that no one knew about her. And so it's, it's so good. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And I really like the voice of Parker, our main character, just because like I kind of really related to her when I read it the first time. I do plan on rereading this soon because I don't know if it'll hold up, but it's still one of my favorites in my head. <laughs> the song for question number two is Creep. So fucking special, but I'm all free. I'm all free. What the hell am I doing here? Who is the creepiest villain or an antagonistic type character you've read recently? Since the question was recently, I went with The Test by Sylvia Novell, and I'm not going to tell you who the antagonistic character is. I don't even know that it's a necessarily a character, but the antagonistic force of this book, super creepy, it really makes you think I really like it because it, what, it felt creepy to me. And I don't think it's going to feel creepy to everyone, but this, oh, it was so good. The song for question number three is Don't Speak. Don't speak. No, just why don't say it. Focus, don't explain it. Don't tell me that it hurts. No, no, don't speak. I don't want your favorite. Don't need your reason. Don't tell me that it hurts. Which narrator do you wish would just shut up? For this, I'm going with Lucy from The Hating Game. Really dislike Lucy. She feels like a 12 year old to me, not like a 20 something year old. And I just can't stand her perspective. And reading from her was horrifying. The song for question number four is I'll Be Missing You. And this question is which author who has passed away do you wish hadn't so you could be reading more books from them? And for me this is actually the easiest answer. This is Amanda Davis who wrote one of my favorite books of all time. When I was a kid this was my favorite book of all time. I related to it so heavily that I told people for years and years and years that it was my favorite book. I never even thought about it. And now I look back on it and think maybe it wouldn't have lived up. And I'm worried about that. I have never revisited it. Kind of want to, kind of don't because I'm terrified. It was such a life impacting, world changing kind of book for me when I was younger. And it's called Wonder When You'll Miss Me. And this was the only book Amanda Davis ever wrote. She was in an airline accident and passed away shortly after this book was published. She never wrote another novel. I think she has a collection of short stories that was published before this was, but otherwise those are the only works we'll ever have from her and it makes me so sad because with how impactful that book was, I just feel like she could have done so much more, for me at least. Question number five is Wannabe. <laughs> The question for Wannabe is which book character do you want to be romantically involved with another book character? Think Crack Ships. So I don't think about Crack Ships. I don't ship characters that aren't in the same world. Sometimes I'll ship together characters who are in the same world but aren't together. Think Harry or Hermione. But I don't do it outside of their respective books. I friendship Annabeth Chase and Hermione Granger, but that's about as far as I go. Question number six is Mbop. And the question for Mbop is which book did you have a hard time understanding? Think plot-wise, themes, etc. So I don't know that I can really 
answer this, it's hard to think of like a book I just didn't get, whatever the reason is. After I thought about it, I think I'm going to say Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I think I just wasn't paying attention when I read this and for that wasn't really understanding the point of it but when I finished this I really didn't like it and didn't understand what the point of this book was. Wasn't a fan of this, not sure why it's so popular, was super bored during it and wonder if I just wasn't paying attention. Question number seven is my heart who will always go on. Once more you open my door and you hear in my heart my heart will go on and question for this song is which book took you a while to move on from emotionally? Um, I'm gonna say The Builder by Sylvia Plath. I read this in February and I still haven't moved on from this emotionally. Like I'm reading other books and stuff but I haven't reviewed a book since this book. I'm trying to write the review for this book still, actively think about it, need to reread it. I just am so emotionally attached and invested in this book. No book has impacted me like this in a long time. Probably won't for a long time and wow. Question number eight is that don't impress me. I assume this is that don't impress me much. Okay, so you're a rocket scientist. That don't impress me much. Oh, 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 so you got a brain behind you, got the touch. Don't get me wrong, yeah, I think you're all right. But that will get me warm in the middle of the night. That don't impress me much. Oh, 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 yeah. The question for this one is what is a hyped read that just didn't impress you? And I could do so many for this. The book I'm gonna go with is actually Night Film by Marsha Passel because I didn't even finish this book and I wanted to so badly and I just don't get it. I was so bored and so uninterested that I DNF'd it and I don't DNF books too often. So that's kind of a big deal. Question number nine is the classic Baby One More Time. Oh baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. Now you're right outside and show me how you want it to be. Tell me baby, cause I need to know now what because My loneliness is killing me and uh, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. If I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me baby one more time. The question for this one is which book or series do you want to read one more time? I'm assuming this is like reread. So I have a video all about books I would like to reread so you can check that out. But one book that's not on that list that I would like to reread is The Bell Jar. Um, one book on that list that I think I'm going to reread soon is Barry Town by Frederick Bachman, which is my favorite book of all time. So if we're not saying I want to reread this book just once, like I want to reread Barry Town forever and ever. The last question we have today is Say My Name. The question for this song is which book character's name do you wish could be your own? So I don't really want to switch out my name. If you would have asked like teenage, preteen, even childhood Reggie what name she would want, she would pick anyone's name. Something like Ashley or Amanda or something that was easy to say because my name is not. Um, but I've kind of grown to like my name. So I thought about this for a long time because I don't know that I'd really want to change my name, especially to something basic. What I mean by that is like I like that my name is unique, I just don't like that it's hard to pronounce or spell. So when thinking about that, I actually went with Aza from Turtles All the Way Down because her name is exactly like it sounds, so you read it and you're like, okay, I know what your name is, I know how to say it, but it's also unique. So she has a unique name that isn't hard to pronounce or spell, <laughs> like it's just best of both worlds, that's ideal. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. It was a blast. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure you hit the bell notification so you aren't missing out on new videos. If you are a 90s kid, I tag you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.